We have a live look as hundreds of protesters gathered on Portland's east side. Moments ago, Portland police declared this gathering an unlawful assembly. Tonight, the group marched to 47th and East Burnside, where the Multnomah County Sheriff and Portland police share a building. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilkin. Before they marched, they gathered in Laurelhurst Park tonight for another Black Lives Matter protest. Meanwhile, the Portland Police Union is calling on the new district attorney to prosecute those who've been already arrested for crimes associated with past protests. Our Jennifer Dowling is live now with these new developments. Jennifer. Good evening, Dan. Yeah, I'm standing at the corner of Northeast 47th and East Burnside, and there's quite a crowd behind me, probably around 100 to 200 people, and they just finished marching from Laurelhurst Park where they had a rally uh, chanting Black Lives Matter as they marched up the street and other uh, slogans associated with the Black Lives Matter movement. They have gathered here in front of the building. We've had Portland police on loudspeakers uh, announced several times that this has been declared an unlawful assembly. We haven't seen any police action beyond that yet. Uh, at first, they told people not to go on the property of the Penumbra Kelly building here, uh, which is where uh, there are some offices for the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office uh, and some other law enforcement uh, officials uh, work out of here. So uh, they're telling people they must leave now and move east or could face some consequences such as crowd control munitions or they could face arrest. Now, last night, uh, some similar tensions began uh, on the east side near the east precinct. People started a fire near uh, that building last night. Uh, meantime, some people tried to put it out, and those ladies who were elderly were doused in paint. And this is what uh, happened as a result in that neighborhood. I was sitting there sewing, and I didn't even know anything was going on until I heard the loudspeakers. Molly Davis had wanted to join in the protests in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, but couldn't due to a health condition. Thursday night, the protests came to her. They came screaming up the street. There were motorcycles and yeah, it, this is right about, I don't know, 11 o'clock or something, maybe later. It's wild. Tensions rose about a block away from her home when people started a fire in a barrel in front of the East Precinct. An elderly woman approached with a fire extinguisher to put it out, and someone threw paint on her and a second woman. Molly calls it all a bit ridiculous because there are a lot of elderly people in the neighborhood. She has just as much right to be out there as they do. You know, she doesn't have to agree with them. They're, they want it to stop because it's scaring them. She says many of them also support the peaceful BLM protests. We certainly can't have people just being murdered by the cops. I mean, it's just crazy. It just goes on in this country way too much. Um, but the violence they're doing is not okay. The PPA put out a statement calling for prosecution of those committing crimes. President Daryl Turner wrote, I have no doubt that those arrested will get away with their crimes without consequence or accountability from the district attorney's office. As police commissioner and district attorney, your primary jobs are public safety, not politics. You are failing. This is what DA Mike Schmidt said a few days ago regarding protesters. When I look at the protest cases in terms of public safety, uh, you know, I think some of those cases are going to be pretty low priority uh, for our office to, to proceed on. Jay says he helped one of the women hit by paint Thursday and feels it does not reflect the Black Lives Matter movement. I kind of went over there just to like walk her away. Everybody has the right to their opinion. That's great. But, you know, you start destroying things and burning things. You shouldn't cry about getting tear gas. And we reached out to the district attorney's office. A spokesperson said they had no comment on the PPA letter. A spokesperson for the mayor's office also declined comment today. And back here uh, out in the east side, we've got another protest tonight with hundreds of people and police again calling in an unlawful assembly as they did last night uh, at the east precinct. So we'll keep an eye on things and let you know what happens if there's any police action uh, now that they've made that announcement. Back to you, Dan.